Hello everyone, uh, this is Kyle Kogan from Slogan Media. Uh, I'm here to show you today how to convert your footage, whether it be iPhone footage, DSLR footage, etc., uh, into a usable and easy format within Final Cut Pro 7, which is a very common program that editors use. Some ed uh, editors have migrated over to Final Cut Pro 10, but I feel that most of the pros uh, use Final Cut Pro 7, Avid Media Com uh, Composer, or uh, Premiere, just because Final Cut 10 is more for uh, the YouTube and skateboard generation. It just simplifies things a little too much. It takes a little bit of the fine details out of the uh, editor's creative hands. So as you can see here, I have my G drive open. First, let me disconnect my uh, EOS device. This is actually a card reader. This is how I pulled all my information off of my card. Uh, I would advise actually getting something like Delkin Devices card reader. For your compact flash cards if you use DSLRs uh, because it'll expedite the process greatly as opposed to just plugging it directly into your camera. It uh, will just slow things down a lot if you just do it from your camera. Anyway, let me just close this to speed up my computer. The more programs you have closed, the quicker this process will go. So I'm going to go back into my G Drive. I'm going to open up my how-to section because this is a how-to video. And as you can see here, I have one clip. I've shot one clip for today. And the way I'm going to convert these is with a program called MPEG Stream Clip, which you can download from their website. Uh, just go into Google, type in MPEG Stream Clip, go through their webpage and download it. It's a free conversion program, uh, industry standard. It's very, very user friendly. I highly recommend it. So let's launch this program right now. Whoops. Here we go. Launching the program. So as you can see, I've opened up a new project here. Go to the top here, and you'll see along the top that there's a word called list. Click on that. Scroll down until you see batch list. Open that up. Click batch list as MPEG stream clip batch list window will pop up. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go back into my finder window. Now this is if you use a Mac. And I'm going to drag my clip. This is my movie clip. Okay, so I'm going to drag it in. Um, if you drag in more than one clip, it gives you the option to join all the files. Do not do that because what that will do is literally make every clip you put in into one file and you don't want to cut between the two. That's inconvenient. Fix time code breaks. Don't worry about it and don't worry about these two either. The most important is just make sure not to join all the files. And I highly recommend exporting to QuickTime. It's just easily read by Final Cut Pro 7. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my G Drive when I select because you want to select a destination folder here. You want to be as organized as possible. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to create a new folder by clicking here and I'm going to name this folder How To Converted so that I can distinguish my uh, raw files from my converted files so that I don't mix the two up and bring the wrong files into Final Cut Pro once this process has been completed. Let's click Select. Now under compression, you have a lot of different choices here. Um, I don't want to go into all the different choices because I'll be blabbering on for about five hours. So what I highly recommend for the casual user is Apple ProRes 422HQ. Uh, it maintains most of the information uh, that these files need to edit. And unless you're doing something that you think you're going to shoot on, um, you know, for the movie theater, the big screen, 422HQ is highly recommended and I think it's a great codec to edit in. Make sure your quality is all the way at 100, depending on what you want to do with sound. Um, there's a bunch of different choices here, but I usually like to keep it uncompressed so that I have as much information there as possible. Um, I like to usually shoot it 1920 by uh, 1080, 169 or unscaled. I'll just keep it for the sake of simplicity at unscaled for now. Unless you're going to do broadcast, I recommend deinterlacing the video. Uh, otherwise, just take a look at this page for one moment and emulate what you see here, and I think you'll be happy with what you get. Then send it to the batch, which sends us back to this window, and then all you need to do is click Go. So see in the right corner how long it takes to process. And then when it's done, you can actually close MPEG Stream Clip and uh, start editing the footage. You just have to take it, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Let's just let this uh, compress, and we'll wait for that. And you'll notice that uh, uh, the window is closed now because it's completely processed. You can see that it's completed here. So let's go back into our G drive and see if we can find what we've done. Let's click into our how-to folder. 
Let's go to our how to convert it. And here it is. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, we can see we have a comedian here. But yes, it looks very nice. So we've gotten this process correctly. So thank you for watching. Uh, you can then take these files directly and drag them right down into Final Cut Pro once you have it open. Uh, we will explain how to do that in a later tutorial. Thank you for watching.